This Fast Thought is sponsored by the Canadian Health Food Association. CHFA are growing a community that empowers growth and is shaping the future of the health food industry. They are inspired by the belief that when we all do well, Canadians live well. Exactly. Right? Right. Exactly. You did receive our package, correct? I just got it yes. yesterday, I believe. Okay. Beautiful. Exciting. I did. Very, I haven't had a chance to open it yet. I haven't got that far. No worries. <laughs> At least well, food and it's not fast, so. No worries. Totally no worries. So, well, hi, guys. Hello. How are you? Awesome. Where, Very good. Where are you guys based? Peterborough, Ontario. Got us. All right. Yeah, hey, I like side. this. You guys are on that side. You yep. know, we get a lot of um, West Coasters, and I love them a yeah. lot. But every now and then, I get an Ontarian, and it's it's all good, right? So <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we we love the West Coast and Vancouver. Yeah. We, we're going to be out there twice, uh, two trips that we have booked already in the uh, first half of next year. Or so yeah. Okay. Yeah, nice. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Phil, where are you, yeah. Phil? I I'm in Mississauga. Oh, you're in Mississauga. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, Kenny, where yeah. are you in BC? I'm in East Vancouver. Okay. Okay. Nice. I, I, mean, I, I guess I should have said Vancouver, but that's okay. Yeah. East Van, East Van. We we definitely try to. We're a special bunch. Yeah, we're special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love, it. love it. So you're flying in it. for the uh, event uh, in uh, I guess uh, two, weeks. two weeks. weeks. Well, I guess yeah, yeah. two weeks. Right. Two weeks tomorrow, I guess. Right. Yeah. 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 Jeez, we're already coming that fast. My God. Ah, countdown. The countdown is on. And it's weird too because you know we we have our pitch, of course, right to you and, yeah. and so forth yeah. on the twenty second at five forty six p.m. And <laughs> it's so funny because we have to set up the booth. Thank God our booth doesn't take a lot to set up. <laughs> yeah. And whip and get changed, and then come and do our pitch. So mm -hmm. it'll be fun. We don't have to get changed that mm -hmm. much. I'm going the way I am. So. Yeah, well, you know what? I just, just, I'm a woman, for God's sakes. I like, on, you know what I mean? I got to do the part. I got to do the part. Well, whatever makes you happy. No, but, but, but listen, <laughs> no, no, but but you're going the way you are, and you're not setting up a booth, right? Because you know, like, you start setting up a booth, and like, no matter how simple, you just get you get grimy, you get a little you sweaty. You do. You know. You do. That's you you realize people. how many things you forgot, right? Because you right. you got eight thousand boxes and checklists coming out the wazoo, and then you get there and go. Son of a, <laughs> it's the right? one thing left on the kitchen table. Right. Son of a, right? <laughs> but there's yeah, two yeah, of them, yeah. and I, I, there's two yeah. of them there, and I know who I'd get to do more of the work. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you, but he directs, so you know he need, he needs to be the director. Mm. Oh, geez, it, yeah. that's all you need, right? Wow. <laughs> Uh, no, no, I'm not the director. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. So. So how are we how are we starting here? Are we uh, are we already started? Or We've are we actually yeah, already started. So so for the audience who's going to be listening to this, yep. um, we have got uh, Deb and Brian on. They're going to tell us about uh, them and and um, and the business in a second. But um, Deb and, and Brian are are finalists for the CHFA Launchpad. Right. Um, and as we do for these uh, for CHFA is we just think. Um, Getting some context on on the product that they're presenting and the things they're talking about will help the audience just learn a little bit more. So when you go to Launchpad, you're you're dialed in a little bit closer and you understand what they're bringing. And they're bringing something really cool. Um, so so we we've got uh, Deb and Brian on. They're the founders of Pleasure Pods. Um, so we'll get you guys to introduce yourself and just tell us a little bit about what you're bringing to the show and, and how cool one, it is. Right, we're like ten mm -hmm. minutes. High yeah. level. Um, that's it. Yeah. 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 Do you want? Do you want to ask us questions? We'll, we'll probably can... interrupt you in, along the way with questions. Okay. But yeah. 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 So I'm Deborah, and um, I have a little bit of a background in um, sales and marketing. And Brian and I met each other eight years ago, and um, he and I. You know, as I started meeting him, I was kind of going through some menopause and um, had some issues with vaginal dryness, things like that were going on. And, you know, we we kind of had a product that we really kind of liked and it was a bit of a solid. Um, and unfortunately, um, where we used to get it from, 
she was going out of business. So she wasn't going to get it anymore. And we're just like, oh my God, what are we going to do? It's their best one. And it was made it all natural and everything else. And so we tried some other lubricants. We tried water, right. we tried silicone. We tried all of them. Nothing was providing what we needed to do what we, what we, you know, for our pleasure. So right. we, at that time said, okay, let's, let's develop our own products. Well, we, we had ended up using coconut oil. Yeah, coconut right. oil for two years. And the mess and the staining of the sheets, um, and it, just, it was like all over me. And it just, it was gross. I just didn't that like it. sound, yeah, it doesn't, the, yeah. the, the appeal kind of just left the whole concept of yeah. how you're right. trying to find <laughs> pleasure in. I right. mean, it didn't work. Yeah. yeah, and for women especially, we don't <laughs> like messes because we're the one that has to clean it all up. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly. in, in yeah. most cases, I'm not going to say it in all cases. So, right. So I said to Brian, Brian, come on, we got to do this. Like we, we just got to create our own. So I will lead this over to mm -hmm. Brian who then started the creation. So, so yeah, so um, it, it started. So we, we had used something that was like a solid. So we, we had, you know, the concept that a solid that would melt <clears throat> was way better than a liquid. And, right. uh, and that's where it started. And so it was, it, this kind of, coincided with COVID. Um, we started getting serious about it right at the beginning of 2020. And, you know, then COVID hit and we didn't have anything to do much um, like everyone else. So it started with um, uh, researching natural cosmetics. I thought I, I would start there and, um, and, and spoke to a lot of uh, schools around the world. And that led into speaking to formulators and uh, people that did packaging and it just was like this endless conversation that went on really over about a year and a half. And in total, uh, we, we would have spoken to four or 500 people that were specialists in something that at that point in time, they could maybe provide an answer. And so it slowly started to just accumulate in terms of the knowledge. And initially we thought we could just like zip zip, Put something together real quickly go find a co-packer who would just right. know exactly how to no. mix it like all that. up and make it done. Yeah. none of it i mean absolutely none of it no one has ever made a uh a, a lube from plant butters before so even the concept is like was so foreign to people but i you know i think i we got saved by COVID because people had not a lot to do. And there were some really key people. There were in total five uh, food and plant scientists, three, uh, sorry, four of them here in Canada and, and one at the University of Bangkok. Who, his specialty is mango and kokum butters. And so it was kind of like because people were looking for something to do and we had just kept having all these conversations, we, we just built this community that got interested and they just helped us out like we could have never gotten to the end point on our own so it was this necessity a lot of conversations and a lot of really helpful people so along the way what did you guys do before this like <laughs> So, interesting. Thank you for asking. Um, <laughs> you know what? Brian and I actually met in our previous industry, and that was in the promotional products industry. So, Brian owned a business, and I worked for one of the largest uh, uh, companies in North America. Um, and so, he's been an entrepreneur all his life, and I've been in sales, mostly sales with some marketing uh, most of our lives. And we were kind of semi-retired right. um, and took a little adventure for about two years into Cambodia and Southeast Asia and then came back uh, due to the pandemic and then decided that we're not ready to retire. What are we doing? And then <laughs> the necessity of needing something right, right to help us was just the driving factor in all of this. I, I appreciate all that. I think that's wonderful. But you've never done CPG before. Like you've never been in this world. No. So you're yeah. researching Bless literally from grounds like so you like you don't have like there's no science degree there's no no I mean, my, you, my, you my background, my background a ball, is, but you, there's yeah. certain things that shouldn't go inside of us yeah so you got to make sure that the ingredients like there's a lot of this is a yeah. pretty sensitive area like you got there's a lot of stuff you gotta make sure you're not you know oh yeah oh yeah, yeah. And, uh, we're, and we're doing we're doing our own manufacturing like we're not going to a you would. why wouldn't you be you've done everything else right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're, we're doing everything ourselves wow. our point of sales displays we're making them ourselves oh wow yeah so 
pretty well everything and we're trying to do as much canadian um you know products canadian right. meat, everything else um because we know that you were seeing a lot of shift in the market that people are looking for more canadian north american products and they want to for support sure. that. um so we're really trying to focus on that but but to, you know to, to kind of go, go to your question about how the hell did it all come together you know scientifically um my background uh i i did in in university i was uh in engineering in science you know science and math um okay. so I, the ability a little bit at least you got a little bit of that, yeah it never caught my interest to pursue it but you know because i'm just an entrepreneur but i have the ability to learn and understand know you know what i had to learn right. on my knowledge but i was able to put together this team of of like literally world renowned scientists. Uh, like I said, that one fellow in Bangkok is mm. mango and cocum butters. Uh, another science doctor scientist here in, in Canada whose specialty is cocoa butter. Uh, a a wow. food scientist at Metro in you know downtown Toronto. Yeah. A a like a world renowned plant fat scientist at the University wow. of Guelph. And and I'm not I'm not saying who these people are because they contributed without even being compensated. They were so interested yeah. in the project. So I'm not going to make any. No, I, I think that's up. I think that's fabulous. And I'll tell you what, we're not going to go too deep in this because I think yeah. there's a podcast in here. Yeah, we'll, I think we'll, so too. We'll drag yeah. you out for a 45 minute to an hour yeah. because this is supposed <laughs> to be more about product. But now because you, it's got me so fascinated, I, I'm thinking I don't know how the hell you ended up. I mean, I understand how you ended up here, <clears throat> but still that. Typically, it's still a quantum leap to say, okay, we, we don't have our product anymore. We have a need. I'm just going to go make my own. That's still not in the no uh, realms of normality. No. Right? So this is a 100% plant-based uh, lubricant, yeah. uh, personal lubricant. Uh, where It's just launching, launched, coming so, to launch. So we did a soft launch at the National Women's Show last November. Okay. And I, I have to tell a little funny story here because when we went to the show, the first Friday, it was supposed to be a lot of moms and everything else at it, but there was the strike going on. So they weren't there. So we had quite a bit of an older crowd. So when I say an older crowd, it, to me, it was a lot of over 50. Um, and I'm in that range too. But you try to talk to these women about personal lubricant, they would go by our booth and go, oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? And so we kind of have to put a different spin on it so we could get them to come to the booth. So we're like, oh, it's really, really good for your skin, which it is. But we had to drive that to get right. them. In. They're like, oh, yeah, really great. And I said, but just so you know, we actually developed this as a personal lubricant. So that was kind of how we got started. And then we kind of took from there because we didn't finish. We didn't have all of our packaging at that time. We kind of really launched in January of this year. Okay. So um, so that's kind of how we got started. And it's kind of been an, an interesting journey in different and in, in wonderful aspects because truthfully, it's not been easy to promote this on social media mm -hmm. because of all the restrictions mm -hmm. that they have on you know the whole idea and talking about sexuality and so forth right. and there's a lot of fights out there right now with people within our industry um to sort of say hey guys come on we're we're not porn we're not we're not any of these things we're just trying to do sexual health and wellness that's that's what we're just trying to talk about here um and sharing our own experiences and even sharing our story as a founder and how we did this and we get we've been shadow banned we've been blocked we've had constant issues um or rejected because we can't promote it or yeah. we can't do an ad so it's been very very challenging and then brian and i took the opportunity to say you know what let us because i'm in sales like and i'm good at it i'm sorry but i'm good <laughs> at it and this is my product our product let's go out to the stores ourselves let's Absolutely. go out and you know what? So Brian and I did a road tour yeah. for Ontario, and our goal was to hit over a hundred adult stores. So off we go. And what was really fun about it is we ended up hitting 61 adult stores. And right okay. now we're in 30 of them. Okay. And um, it was great. It was amazing. Um, <laughs> and then our goal is, and, and another little funny story is 
we went into the stag shop and we went into quite a few i think we went into like six of them six, yeah. and we already had reached out to the buyer at the stag shop and said hey here's our product what do you think of it but it's very difficult for us to get them to respond because you can only reach out to them via email well guess what we got a response from the stag shop saying please do not visit our stores anymore we are interested um, and we'll reach out to you um, in the round sept in the middle of September. Right. Um, when we're just opening up more stores because they have about what is it, 30, 30 32 stores? Yeah. Around, yeah. Around 30 stores. Something like that. Yeah. Family owned yeah. business, largest uh, chain of adult mm. stories in stores yeah. in Canada. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so anyway, they engaged because of our dropping samples at their stores. Well, and, because uh, buyers get pissed off to think, and listen, I don't need six other stores or 30 stores driving me mental too i got two because yeah, they're, they're, they're all calling right they're all exactly. calling and that's the last thing the buyer wants right i hate like, it drive me crazy right yeah so but, yeah, but totally. we, we wanted to do but we we really okay. wanted to go into these stores because we wanted to hear from the employees that sell this stuff every single day we wanted them to try it and give us their feedback that was really important to us yeah. so and that's what we did. And that's kind of where we are right now. Um, and then going to the CHFA show, we've been doing some research on health food stores, um, especially. And it's 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 it makes me very sad because having an um, all natural product, it's perfect for health food stores. But I cannot be believe the amount the the such the little amount that they carry within these stores and i'm talking about what a lot offered so to you know jo he, phil came from johnson and johnson yep. so the ky brands right okay I've yeah. the categories at london we were involved with it i think there's the pro it's, it's like everything like even what you're okay then we're going to make this into a podcast and we don't have time so we actually have a podcast to do right yeah. after this yeah. okay. but it it's it's a critical category and at certain ages um, lubrication becomes much more relevant. We're just, not, ju we're just getting an incredible reaction from the small, you know, the the one, three to five yep. store yep. operations. And what we have also found is, uh, so far, and and it will change as there becomes some greater awareness and brand maturity here. But right now, this is a feeling is believing product. Uh, seeing is not believing here right. because it is so different than anything that anyone can put it in context with. Right. Uh, you know, beautiful pictures, a lovely description, great videos. That's not converting at all. Put a sample of it in people's hands and try it. Boom! You yeah. just see yeah. it on their face. This category is definitely. I mean, even on KY, it was always like that. And then even your, if I can sympathize, is even with a great big brand like KY that had you know Johnson and Johnson behind it advertising yeah. was always an issue even though even though every store that has a sexual wellness product will tell you that it's margin enhancing volume driving mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. want it nobody wants to talk about it so everyone's yeah oh yeah. I, I, it's I a bit hard. It, please don't ask me about it right but, so but the margin. truth is you know it's 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 needed it's uh we want it yeah. um so for for those of you who are tuning into this, um, you should come see this. I think um, if nothing else, um, you know this this launchpad pitch is going to be super fun to watch. Um, so so you got to come in and and I love uh, it. and jump in. So Dev and Brian, Pleasure Pods um, founders. Yes. Thank you. And, Thank you for jumping on here. Yeah, and just so yeah. you guys know, yeah. we are going to be in booth twenty fifty at the show. Okay. Perfect. Um, and we are giving away free samples. So, um, you know, so come by and, you know, come and grab a product. And I can't wait, Kenny, for you and the other judges to try it and experience it. And I will just give you a one little hint when you open it up and take it out of the package. All right. All I'm going to ask from you guys, there it is. That's yep. it. Okay. Is just take it in between your hands yeah. and yep. just it's like an activation right. right we just need to warm it up and activate it and then voila you start getting some there on there as well too it's awesome. really hard to be on camera okay so awesome. enjoy <laughs> thanks guys thank Great. you thank you, guys. We'll see you in two weeks absolutely looking, looking forward, forward to it, it. Yeah. What are we? Enjoy thank you. Your day. okay thanks you too bye guys. guys go bye. enjoy your day bye ciao